Brought to you by Philips 66, the most trusted wings in aviation. And by Lightspeed, Zulu 2 once again sets the standard. Friday, July 29, 2011. Boeing's first 787 Dreamliner, still a test article, made its first appearance at the annual Air Venture Air and Trade Show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. As of that date, Boeing's initial customer delivery was expected in September, having already suffered a series of delays that would put the delivery three years behind its original scheduled date. The aircraft has a wingspan of 197 feet and a length of 206 feet. It stands 56 feet high and represents a new level of outsourcing and logistical integration for Boeing. The company organized more than 40 suppliers and partners for fabrication of the airliner, and the design incorporates multiple new airframe and ergonomic changes. Inside the cabin, that means larger, dimmable windows, a lower cabin altitude thanks to higher pressurization, and more humidity in the cabin air. We have another video that gives a brief tour of the interior of this particular aircraft, which has been outfitted for testing. Roughly half of the 787 is made of composite materials, eliminating about 1,500 sheets of aluminum and about 45,000 fasteners when compared with a more conventional Boeing airframe. In different configurations, the Dreamliner will carry anywhere from 210 to 290 passengers on routes as long as 8,500 nautical miles. It can be outfitted with either General Electric or Rolls-Royce engines, and at maximum takeoff weight and its heaviest configuration, those engines will drive aloft 545,000 pounds of aircraft, cargo, and fuel, reaching a cruise of Mach 0.85. One of the design goals behind the 787 Dreamliner was to reduce fuel consumption over similar aircraft by a margin of 20%. The company said earlier this year it had more than 850 orders for the aircraft on the books. That could represent as much as $139 billion for an aircraft that by January 2011 had already taken $12 billion to develop. Brought to you by Philips 66, the most trusted wings in aviation. And by Lightspeed, Zulu 2 once again sets the standard.